I've now actually painted the, the actual steel on here with some green hammerite. I thought green would be quite a reasonable colour for this. Uh, very appropriate. Uh, I've tidied up most of the wiring, you can see with a nice as well. And I've actually now got a actual new control box on it. Uh, on the wires I've got on the left side that's the up and down track a control wire. On the on the right side it's the left and right and the one in the middle is the power and I've actually routed it neatly around up the top so they hang down and they actually don't catch on anything at all. Uh, it needs another coat of paint I think I'll do that later on. Uh, I'm off to the States shortly so I've got a month where I need to sit here and get on with the job. A quick look at the track on circuits in the box. I hope you can actually see these from here. Uh, the top was made very quick, very quickly because I wanted to get something on there. Uh, I would have done it neater, but this is purely practical. It's all that's really important. Uh, see, I've actually held it on with brackets, uh, but it, it does the trick. Uh, if I made a commercial version, that'd obviously be a bit better than this. Uh, but saying that, it does the does the job. Looks good and it can now get on with its own job continuously doing it. Uh, I ordered a tracker from Dwayne and twice now I've been hit on customs charges because the buggers see it as $35 which is more than 20 quid so watch out if you're importing anything from the US. Uh, anyway I'll let you get on with everything. Uh, have fun building. I ended up moving the brackets up a little bit higher so that my actuator could tilt all the way back uh, and also this new bracket here allows it to actually tilt all the way round so it's near enough straight up looking at the sky uh, and that'll actually tilt all the way down as well. If I built another one I'd actually tidy all the wiring up but as I ain't got time and I don't really give a damn it works <laughs> I'll just actually get on with it. Uh, the bolt in the middle of the main shaft, which is holding it, the bolt is loose. It doesn't need to be tight, it's full of grease and it should be okay to go up and down on that. Simplest is sometimes the best. Got a couple of holes, I'm going to put, tap them in and put some pot rivets back and I'm going to just some for neatness. So I've got little things to do here and there. Uh, but it's done the job and it's fine. When installing these ends, Make sure you actually grease them so they move properly, like this one. Because if, if you actually don't do it, they seize up and that'll burn out the actuator and the, and the, and the track in the unit. Okay, so make sure they move freely, same as this one. I can actually move this quite freely because I've actually done it on the end, alright? Above all, don't skimp on the design of it and make it as strong as you can because wind will take it away. I had nightmares when I had this on a 50mm pole that that's going to blow away and end up in somebody's garden. So <laughs> make sure it's tough. <laughs>